Ocean predators don many disguises. They play a game of hide and kill, where the invisible lunge out at lightning speed, and sucker line tentacles stick like glue. Alien ships of inner space, octopuses and cuttlefish hang tight for the right moment to strike. Masters of undersea deception, they're built for the kill. Long before life moved on to dry land, killers patrolled the blue depths. Oceans cover almost three quarters of the Earth's surface. And deadly sharks must be the most feared of all marine predators. But the sea is also the hunting ground of predators that rely on deception to kill. Cuttlefish and octopuses, venomous lionfish, cunning anglerfish, and smooth killer eels. Like living fossils, some have barely changed in 400 million years. They've evolved to use camouflage and mimicry with ruthless efficiency. Armed with gripping, ripping suckers, these killers' flexible, boneless bodies squeeze through the tightest gaps to stalk their victims. Tracking prey with sharp eyesight and an intelligent, calculating mind. Blending into the background gives them their edge. Evolving perfect camouflage. Or hypnotizing prey before split-second assault. Others even shapeshift. Now you see them, now you don't. When the killer reappears, there's no escape. An octopus was resting here a second ago. Now, there's just coral. Cuttlefish have evolved a Sonne Lumiere, spectacular light displays to confuse and mesmerize, before an extra pair of deadly tentacles fire out to meet the victim. They're camouflaged killers, masters of impersonation. Flamboyant cuttlefish walk along the seabed, imitating harmless sea slugs, lulling prey into a false sense of security. Snake eels imitate venomous sea snakes to pursue their victims unchecked. Stonefish momentarily become part of the coral reef, ready to ambush and wary passers-by. Frogfish become anglers, luring their lunch within striking range. Multi-limbed, agile, manipulative and intelligent, like all masters of deception, Cuttlefish and octopuses are well armed and deadly. A coral reef may seem like a tranquil Eden, alive with creatures of all shapes and disguises. But where there's beauty, lurks a beast. This frogfish is an ambush killer. Yellow markings make it stand out. Yet this fish has a big surprise in store. Within weeks it changes color to perfect its camouflage. Flaps of flowing skin enhance deception to imitate the coral garden. At least 43 species of frogfish populate the tropical oceans. Their dramatically changing look makes it difficult to tell them apart. They range from killers the size of a little finger to predators as long as your lower arm. No matter how big they are, all these fish can disappear without a trace. Most disguises are blown when a fish starts to swim, but frogfish crawl over the reef bed on limb-like fins. 
they stalk or adopt a prime ambush position without ever revealing their true identity. Elbow-like joints and prehensile fins grab hold of coral rubble to steady the hunters while waiting for prey to come by. A huge upturned mouth waits to vacuum in its next victim. Expanding up to 12 times its original size in less than six thousandths of a second, one of the fastest strikes of all vertebrate killers. During an attack, frogfish take massive gulps of water and force it through their gills. A strong sphincter muscle deep in the throat prevents swallowed prey from escaping. These killers even disguise their breathing with gill openings hidden below the fins. Large eyes scan the water. When a victim comes within seven body lengths, it's time to play the trump card. To entice victims within reach of its killer strike, the frogfish becomes a fisherman. The first spine on its back is a flexible fishing rod, tipped with a fleshy lure. It varies between individuals to mimic worms, shrimp or fish. This striated frogfish's bait imitates a worm so well that curious fish come to investigate without noticing the mouth waiting below. When hunting at night, it releases chemicals into the water to make the bait simply irresistible. The frogfish explosively lunges two-thirds of its own body length to engulf prey. Its massive jaws create a suction force so strong that unlucky fish are vacuumed up in milliseconds. It's the fastest strike of all marine killers. Coming up, fish are devoured in split-second attacks and multi-limbed killers fire at point-blank range. The seabed appears pristine. To the unwary observer, there's no threat here. But there's a killer in hiding. Loose flaps of skin, warty lumps, protrusions and mottled markings perfect the scorpion fish's camouflage. Its relative, the stonefish, has even recruited algae, sponges and small animals called hydroids to grow on its skin and aid its deception. An impressive disappearing act for a fish a little larger than a football. It's all about becoming invisible. Lying in wait for prey to come within striking distance, the stonefish doesn't have to swim fast to catch food. A short, stocky body ripped with explosive muscle power. A disguise is only as good as the surroundings. Take a stonefish away from the reef and it becomes highly conspicuous. So this predator has evolved another little trick. The most potent sting of any fish. Injected through spines like hypodermic needles, the neurotoxin goes to work right away to paralyze the victim. It can kill a man in just a few hours. The kill takes just 15 milliseconds. Too fast for the human eye to follow without slowing down the film. It's primed to attack again, and again, and again. For one group of killers, deception is just part of the armory. Patrolling our oceans for 400 million years. Speed, agility and intelligence, matched by flexible bodies, razor-sharp beaks and deadly sucker-lined grappling tentacles.
formidable predators with an alien appearance. Ultimate camouflage killers. They've a lethal arsenal of weapons to choose from. Soft-bodied creatures. Close relatives of the garden snail. Unlike snails, cuttlefish and octopuses have eyes similar to humans. Humans change the shape of the lens to focus. Theirs work more like a camera. The lens moves forwards and backwards within the eye to get a clear view. Excellent vision is crucial for finding food. An octopus can spot prey the size of a pea from a meter away. For a human diver, life below the waves can be confusing. Being tossed and turned means the view can be turned upside down. These creatures have solved the problem. Incredibly, they rotate their eyes within their sockets so the image is always on the straightened level. They work like little compasses, using gravity to keep the slit-shaped pupils horizontally aligned. That's not all. Unlike humans, cuttlefish and octopuses also see polarized light. It means they can communicate in Morse code-like patterns on their skin, markings invisible to their enemies, sharks, dolphins, and seals. Polarized vision also allows them to hunt transparent prey, like jellyfish, and break through the countershading camouflage that shoaling silverfish rely on to confuse lesser foe. When stalking their victims, octopuses approach from an angle always keeping one eye on the prize. In the water column, prey hides in three dimensions, so cuttlefish have evolved eyes with such a wide field of vision, they can see behind and in front at the same time. Rotating their bodies to compensate, they approach their victims head on. These assassins approach their prey in a number of ways. Deception is one, but they also kill by stealth. Cuttlefish, octopuses and squid were amongst the first creatures to invent the jet engine. Drawing water into their bodies and squirting it out through a siphon below the head, they're propelled like jet fighters. But underwater flight isn't the only option. An octopus also crawls, carefully creeping up on its victims. Octopuses even hunt on dry land. And thanks to their soft bodies, they can squeeze through holes only as big as their tough beaks. When the tide is out, rock pools become traps for tasty morsels 
like this crab, busily sifting through the rubble, looking for scraps of food. A great hunting opportunity for this resourceful and intelligent creature. Out of the water, this red octopus stretches sucker-lined limbs to pull its floppy body along. Searching for food, each sucker tastes the water a thousand times more sensitively than the greatest wine taster. The octopus breathes through gills and can't stay out of the water for longer than about 30 minutes. All the time this killer needs to secure its next meal. It sends tentacles round one side of the rocks and attacks from the other. There's nowhere to hide from this cunning, efficient killer. Its sensitive tentacles are flexible enough to explore even the smallest niches. The crab is dispatched with a bite from the octopus's armoured beak and carried to the lair to be eaten. Cuttlefish glide through the water. Unlike octopuses, their bodies are buoyed up by an internal float. Altering the amount of nitrogen gas within the float controls buoyancy. It's like a scuba diver inflating his jacket. Just like squid and octopuses, cuttlefish also use jet propulsion. But when stalking their prey, they prefer stealth using gentle, wave-like motions of the fins that skirt around their bodies. It makes them extremely maneuverable predators. Flamboyant cuttlefish behave differently, crawling along the reef bed on modified arms. Like muscular legs, they not only help the flamboyant approach its next victim, but seem to fool it too. By learning to walk, it's carved a niche for itself, possibly to reduce competition with other cuttlefish. But deception is its speciality. Distinctive purple, pink, yellow and black coloration, and the bizarre shape of its skin, may make it appear poisonous. A warning to those that might want to eat it. By mimicking non-predatory creatures, like sea slugs, the flamboyant creeps up on its victims without frightening them off. Within striking distance, it unleashes its killer arms and it's all over. Closing in for the kill, the cuttlefish flashes thick bands of color across its body. By controlling its coloration and the shape of its tentacles, this assassin mesmerizes prey like an Indian snake charmer. It confuses or even hypnotizes its victim before mounting a lethal assault. The feeding tentacles emerge from the killer's head a surprise attack. Cuttlefish and octopuses aren't the only predators to imitate other creatures and disappear from their prey's radar. To humanize, 
These lionfish appear to be blatantly advertising their presence. Gaudy colors, stunning spines, and flowing outlines seem extravagant. But to small prey, perspectives are different. To them, this killer is disguised. The spiny projections and fleshy tabs mimic algal growths to disrupt the fish's outline. To a prey fish, the floating killer could be a clump of kelp. The lionfish is a skillful hunter. Gliding slowly towards its victim, it's mindful not to spook it. Large eyes keep watch over its target while it creeps close enough to launch an attack. A lionfish in full ambush mode. Outstretched pectoral fins work like a trap to gently usher prey into a corner or pin it against the ground. Its large mouth is packed with small teeth, designed to grab hold of the slipperiest customer. It's the speed of the strike that makes this killer so deadly. Like the lionfish, this devilfish is out to catch a belly full of anchovies. A bottom-dwelling predator with finger-like prongs instead of fins to crawl over the ground. A fish that doesn't look like one at all. It virtually disappears. Covering itself with sand completes the devilfish's camouflage. The mouth becomes a crack in the ground and two eyes scan the water for a fish supper. Stalking anchovies and plucking them out of the water is another way this killer can eat its fill. Still to come, flesh-melting venom makes an agonizing death for crabs. If speed of attack is the killer adaptation of some undersea assassins, the primary weapons of octopuses and cuttlefish are their tentacles. They're actually extensions of the creature's lips, lined with row upon row of strong suckers. An octopus's eight arms are muscular tubes. Lacking bones or hard shells, they can be bent like rubber bands. The most ambidextrous human would find it difficult to control just two arms as efficiently. But octopuses have a unique nervous system, a separate nerve control center for each arm. Each tentacle literally has a mind of its own. So the octopus's brain leaves much of the decision-making to its limbs. Each tentacle has about 50 million nerves. When the brain sends the signal to move, each arm takes the order and controls its own actions. These tentacles are incredible killing tools strong enough to prise apart tough clamshells shut tight with a force of 4.6 kilograms. Every sucker on an octopus's arm can hold a weight of 2 kilograms. Each arm could theoretically support a motorbike. Suckers aren't just gripping tools. They can taste just like a tongue. And each is equipped with 10,000 neurons. Their touch sensors more sensitive than human fingertips. 
In some species, each of the eight arms has around a thousand suckers. The arms are used to walk, crawl, burrow, dig, swim, kill, and eat. But prey have weapons too. It's not uncommon to lose an arm in a fight. No problem, this resourceful killer just grows another one. Like all masters of deception, octopuses come in many shapes and sizes. From giants, sometimes weighing 180 kilograms and seven and a half meters across, to midgets no larger than a coin. Cuttlefish arms are slightly different. Like octopuses, they've eight short, sucker-lined tentacles that frame their hungry mouths. But they've an additional pair tucked into sockets beneath the eyes. Much longer than the rest, they have spoon-shaped sucker-lined tips, the cuttlefish's killer weapons. Hidden underneath the ring of tentacles, the cuttlefish's other weapon comes into effect. A rock-hard, parrot-like beak surrounds the mouth. It's primed to crack into even the toughest prey. Inside the killer's mouth is a tongue covered in rasping, tooth-like scales. Octopuses are also equipped with a similar beak and tongue to deal with the armored shells of their prey. Like cuttlefish, octopuses deliver a chemical that blocks nerve signals and stops muscle action. Most prey is dead in minutes. They make short work of a crab. So not only are these killers armed with a mass of tentacles, powerful suckers, parrot-like beak and rasping tongue, but they have a chemical weapon that can paralyze prey before it has the chance of injuring their soft bodies. After all, a crab's sharp pincers could do a lot of damage. Octopuses and cuttlefish are the most incredible masters of undersea deception, changing shape and displaying flamboyant color patterns in the blink of an eye. It gives them security from predators and the upper hand when stalking prey. But there's more to this deceit than blending into the background. These zebra stripes may confuse prey by obscuring the predator's outline as a fish's eyes are not as acute as ours. Every square centimeter of octopus and cuttlefish skin is packed with hundreds of elastic, pigment-filled sacs. Some species have five different colors at their disposal. A palette of yellow, orange, red, brown, and black. Each sac is controlled by a ring of muscle. The muscle contracts, the sac changes shape, and hey presto, the animal changes color. A kaleidoscope of colors like the liquid crystal display of a computer monitor. Adding layers of blue and green from separate reflective cells completes the image. Amongst this array of multicolored killers are some of the most deadly animals on Earth. They may not look menacing, but despite being no larger than a golf ball, they can kill in minutes. They patrol shallow waters throughout the tropics. Striking iridescent blue rings protect them by warning predators they're toxic. But the real purpose for the blue ringed octopus's venom is to kill. The venom packs a real punch. A toxin 10,000 times more potent than cyanide. Deadlier than a rattlesnake. It rivals a cobra. And is more poisonous than most scorpions. Or even a black widow spider. This is one of the world's most poisonous creatures. Just one of these critters the size of a matchbox could kill a man ten times over.
The toxin originates in the octopus's saliva. Once bitten, the first symptoms are numbness, followed by nausea and weakness. Within minutes, the whole body starts to shut down, ending in paralysis and death from asphyxiation. Small crabs and shrimp are usually on the blue ringed octopus menu. Pouncing on prey and injecting deadly poison is one strategy. This is no ordinary venom. It's produced by bacteria living in the animal's salivary glands. It's a give and take relationship. The octopus provides ideal living conditions for the bacteria and they provide it with ammunition. For larger, more dangerous prey, the predator releases the chemical from a safe distance. In this attack, the victim is caught under the octopus's arms and breathes in the toxin. Crabs that put up a fight may have one of their eye tips nicked by the octopus's rasping tongue. Venom is then injected straight down the optic nerve and into the brain. Struggling is futile. Soon paralysis sets in. All that remains is for the killer's beak to tear into the flesh. The toxin will already have started digestion by the time the tissue is consumed. The octopus sucks up the partly digested flesh, leaving only the empty shell. These camouflaged killers don't just change their color. They also transform their shape. One of the advantages of not having a skeleton is that skin texture changes simply by contracting muscles. In an instant they look like coral, seaweed or even sand. Or morph into a streamlined jet fighter of the deep. To complete its vanishing act, this octopus's eight arms are used to imitate swaying seaweed. They maintain elaborate control over their bodies thanks to the way their brains work. The nerve centers in their tentacles maintain control over movement while their vision determines color and shape. It's so important that the optic lobes take up half of the brain's mass. Visual images are processed and responded to instantaneously. The result? The most adept and agile masters of deception on the planet. The X-Men of the marine world. An octopus can mimic its surroundings in less than a second. In contrast, a chameleon takes about two minutes to blend in. One octopus has taken deception a step further. It impersonates other creatures, hence its name, Mimic Octopus. Imitating a deadly sea snake may not assist in catching prey, but it might help it avoid becoming a meal itself. That's important. This soft-bodied creature hunts by day in shallow waters where there's no place to hide. Protected by changing its color, posture, and even movement, to impersonate venomous animals, it can pursue prey unhindered. The mimic octopus is not alone in imitating venomous sea snakes. Many eels follow the same strategy. Their coloration, body shape and movement makes it virtually impossible to distinguish them from their reptile lookalikes. But these creatures are predatory fish, out to catch their next meal. Most spend daytime hidden away in lairs or under the sand. They only leave their heads exposed, ready to launch surprise attacks on passing fish or crustaceans. The secretive lifestyle of moray eels is deceptive. They rank amongst the coral reef's top predators. 
so abundant that in weight they make up almost half of its killers. Their caution is not misplaced. A moray eel out in the open is dangerously exposed to attacks from octopuses, toothy fish, or even other eels. This moray eel has had half its face and an eye ripped clean off. It's only a matter of time before it succumbs to its terrible injuries. It's safer to hunt at night. An excellent sense of smell makes up for poor vision and leads them to prey hiding among the coral rubble. Its body is extremely flexible. A hunting eel can slither into even the tightest gaps in pursuit of fish. A slimy outer coat on the eel's body prevents injury from the coral's jagged edges. This snake eel spends its life on sandy ground searching for nourishing snacks. Using a toughened hind fin, it can quickly dig itself into the sand and disappear in the space of a few seconds. A sandy lair from which to ambush passing prey. When actively tracking down food, the killer eel's coloration allows it to blend in. Following its nose, it's even able to detect prey hidden below the sand. Some eels can sense victims in the most incredible hideouts. Using its rear to dig into the sand, the eel prepares the ground before diving in headfirst to snatch its prize. That's impressive, but it's the killer adaptations of octopuses and cuttlefish that make them the most potent of predators. Losing their protective shell in the course of evolution has turned them into highly mobile assassins. Add intelligence to the mix, and you get a predator that's truly built for the kill. Cuttlefish rely heavily on eyesight to find prey and they'll use camouflage to ambush passers-by, burying into the seabed to hide. Octopuses also conceal themselves from their prey, overpowering it in surprise attacks. By blending in or lurking in a lair, they strike quickly and spell the end for many creatures. They can even use the tips of their arms as lures to grab prey from their safe hideouts. Cuttlefish are equally cunning predators, using their shape-shifting techniques and powers of imitation to mesmerize and confuse. Black and white stripes race across the predator's body, a vivid pulsating color display all the way to the tips of the tentacles. Instantly, more than two million pigment cells are put into action to let color flash across its skin. It may seem strange to switch from camouflage to such a conspicuous display. Incredibly, the prey makes no attempt to escape. This light show appears to create an optical illusion, jamming the victim's ability to interpret the threat, until it's too late. It works like this. Imagine staring at a waterfall for some time. When looking away to a more stationary scene, the image appears to drift upwards. It's an optical illusion called the motion after effect, and it alters one's perception of the speed and direction of moving objects. Exactly the type of information a fish needs when escaping from predators. The rapidly moving stripes of the cuttlefish have the same effect as the waterfall. A fish experiencing motion after the effect is no longer able to calculate the movements of the killer or anticipate a suitable escape route. It's all over in a flash. After the break, 
experience the killer instinct of newborn cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are killers from the moment they hatch. Like miniature adults, they swim and hunt straight away, shooting their two deadly tentacles at potential prey. Delicate creatures, when they first emerge, they're prone to damaging themselves or becoming someone else's meal. They've got to be successful predators from day one. They have to grow quickly. Their phenomenal growth rate requires a lot of fuel, so they've got to kill continuously. They're bold, talented predators, ready to tackle prey like shrimp and crabs at least as big as themselves. Their heads are large in relation to their bodies, and their eight arms still have to develop their strength. But to a small crustacean, they still spell death. The tentacles are filled with fluid. By rapidly contracting muscles, they force the fluid in at high pressure, firing them in an instant. As soon as they touch their startled victims, the spoon-shaped tips hold tight. They've struck in less than 15 milliseconds. Adult cuttlefish can learn from their mistakes, honing their hunting skills throughout life. But baby cuttlefish have no experience to fall back on and must attack on instinct, making the most of the chemical cues of their prey. Even in the pitch black world of the ocean at night, the newborn killers home in on minute differences in the concentrations of scent in the water. The world's oceans are home to an extraordinary kaleidoscope of killers. Carnivores that adopt sly strategies to catch prey, disappearing from victims' radars and launching surprise attacks. Cuttlefish and octopuses don many disguises. By combining their abilities to blend in with an armory of killer adaptations, these predators beat their quarry's every defense. But armaments are useless without strategy. Knowing how to merge into the surroundings and launch split-second attacks is the mark of success for hidden killers. They're all experts of undersea deception, and they're all built for the kill. from the killer's head, a surprise attack. Cuttlefish and octopuses aren't the only predators to imitate other creatures and disappear from their prey's radar. To human eyes, these lionfish appear to be blatantly advertising their presence. Gaudy colors, stunning spines, and flowing outlines seem extravagant. But to small prey, perspectives are different. To them, this killer is disguised. The spiny projections and fleshy tabs mimic algal growths to disrupt the fish's outline. To a prey fish, the floating killer could be a clump of kelp. 
The lionfish is a skillful hunter. Gliding slowly towards its victim, it's mindful not to spook it. Large eyes keep watch over its target while it creeps close enough to launch an attack. Widow Spider. This is one of the world's most poisonous creatures. Just one of these critters the size of a matchbox could kill a man ten times over. The toxin originates in the octopus's saliva. Once bitten, the first symptoms are numbness, followed by nausea and weakness. Within minutes, the whole body starts to shut down, ending in paralysis and death from asphyxiation. Small crabs and shrimp are usually on the blue ringed octopus menu. Pouncing on prey and injecting deadly poison is one strategy. This is no ordinary venom. It's produced by bacteria living in the animal's salivary glands. It's a give and take relationship. The octopus provides ideal living conditions for the bacteria and they provide it with ammunition. Within striking distance, it unleashes its killer arms, and it's all over. Closing in for the kill, the cuttlefish flashes thick bands of color across its body. By controlling its coloration and the shape of its tentacles, this assassin mesmerizes prey like an Indian snake charmer. It confuses or even hypnotizes its victim before mounting a lethal assault. The feeding tentacles emerge from the killer's head, a surprise attack. Cuttlefish and octopuses aren't the only predators to imitate other creatures and disappear from their prey's radar. To human eyes, these lionfish appear to be blatantly advertising their presence. Gaudy colors, stunning spines, and flowing outlines seem extravagant. But to small prey, perspectives are different. To them, this killer, now there's just coral. Cuttlefish have evolved a sonne lumière spectacular light displays to confuse and mesmerize before an extra pair of deadly tentacles fire out to meet the victim. They're camouflaged killers, masters of impersonation. Flamboyant cuttlefish walk along the seabed imitating harmless sea slugs, lulling prey into a false sense of security. Snake eels imitate venomous sea snakes to pursue their victims unchecked. Stonefish momentarily become part of the coral reef, ready to ambush and wary passers-by. Frogfish become anglers, luring their lunch within striking range. Multi-limbed, agile, manipulative and intelligent, like all masters of deception, cuttlefish and octopuses are well-armed and deadly. A coral reef may seem like a tranquil Eden, alive with creatures of all shapes and disguises. But where there's beauty, lurks a beast. Work like little compasses, 
using gravity to keep the slit-shaped pupils horizontally aligned. That's not all. Unlike humans, cuttlefish and octopuses also see polarized light. It means they can communicate in Morse code-like patterns on their skin, markings invisible to their enemies, sharks, dolphins, and seals. Polarized vision also allows them to hunt transparent prey, like jellyfish, and break through the countershading camouflage that shoaling silverfish rely on to confuse lesser foe. When stalking their victims, octopuses approach from an angle, always keeping one eye on the prize. In the water column, prey hides in three dimensions, so cuttlefish have evolved eyes with such a wide field of vision, they can see behind and in front at the same time. Rotating their bodies to compensate, they approach their victims head on, and they hatch. Like miniature adults, they swim and hunt straight away, shooting their two deadly tentacles at potential prey. Delicate creatures, when they first emerge, they're prone to damaging themselves or becoming someone else's meal. They've got to be successful predators from day one. They have to grow quickly. Their phenomenal growth rate requires a lot of fuel, so they've got to kill continuously. They're bold, talented predators, ready to tackle prey like shrimp and crabs, at least as big as themselves. Their heads are large in relation to their bodies, and their eight arms still have to develop their strength. But to a small crustacean, they still spell death. The tentacles are filled with fluid, by rapidly contracting muscles, they force the fluid in at high pressure, firing them in an instant. As soon as they touch their startled victims, the spoon-shaped tips hold tight. They've struck in less than 15 milliseconds. Long before life moved on to dry land, killers patrolled the blue depths. Oceans cover almost three quarters of the Earth's surface. And deadly sharks must be the most feared of all marine predators. But the sea is also the hunting ground of predators that rely on deception to kill. Cuttlefish and octopuses, venomous lionfish, cunning anglerfish, and smooth killer eels. Like living fossils, some have barely changed in 400 million years. They've evolved to use camouflage and mimicry with ruthless efficiency. Armed with gripping, ripping suckers, these killers' flexible, boneless bodies squeeze through the tightest gaps to stalk their victims. Tracking prey with sharp eyesight and an intelligent, calculating mind. Blending into the background gives them their edge. Pouncing on prey and injecting deadly poison is one strategy. This is no ordinary venom. It's produced by bacteria living in the animal's salivary glands. 
It's a give and take relationship. The octopus provides ideal living conditions for the bacteria, and they provide it with ammunition. For larger, more dangerous prey, the predator releases the chemical from a safe distance. In this attack, the victim is caught under the octopus's arms and breathes in the toxin. Crabs that put up a fight may have one of their eye tips nicked by the octopus's rasping tongue. Venom is then injected straight down the optic nerve and into the brain. Struggling is futile. Soon paralysis sets in. All that remains is for the killer's beak to tear into the flesh. The toxin will already have started digestion by the time the tissue is consumed. Their heads are large in relation to their bodies, and their eight arms still have to develop their strength. But to a small crustacean, they still spell death. The tentacles are filled with fluid. By rapidly contracting muscles, they force the fluid in at high pressure, firing them in an instant. As soon as they touch their startled victims, the spoon-shaped tips hold tight. They've struck in less than 15 milliseconds. Adult cuttlefish can learn from their mistakes, honing their hunting skills throughout life. But baby cuttlefish have no experience to fall back on and must attack on instinct, making the most of the chemical cues of their prey. Even in the pitch black world of the ocean at night, the newborn killers home in on minute differences in the concentrations of scent in the water. Jellyfish and break through the countershading camouflage that shoaling silverfish rely on to confuse lesser foe. When stalking their victims, octopuses approach from an angle, always keeping one eye on the prize. In the water column, prey hides in three dimensions, so cuttlefish have evolved eyes with such a wide field of vision, they can see behind and in front at the same time. Rotating their bodies to compensate, they approach their victims head on. to invent the jet engine. Drawing water into their bodies and squirting it out through a siphon below the head, they're propelled like jet fighters. But underwater flight isn't the only option. An octopus also crawls, carefully creeping up on its victims. Octopuses even hunt on dry land. And thanks to their soft bodies, they can squeeze through holes only as big as their tough beaks. When the tide is out, rock pools become traps for tasty morsels, like this crab, busily sifting through the rubble, looking for scraps of food. A great hunting opportunity, 
for this resourceful and intelligent creature. Out of the water, this red octopus stretches sucker-lined limbs to pull its floppy body along. Searching for food, each sucker tastes the water a thousand times more sensitively picks. Striking iridescent blue rings protect them by warning predators they're toxic. But the real purpose for the blue ringed octopus's venom is to kill. The venom packs a real punch. A toxin 10,000 times more potent than cyanide. Deadlier than a rattlesnake. It rivals a cobra. And is more poisonous than most scorpions. Or even a black widow spider. This is one of the world's most poisonous creatures. Just one of these critters the size of a matchbox could kill a man ten times over. The toxin originates in the octopus's saliva. Once bitten, the first symptoms are numbness, followed by nausea and weakness. Within minutes, the whole body starts to shut down, ending in paralysis and death from asphyxiation. Small crabs and shrimp are usually on the blue-ringed octopus menu. 